All right, here we are in Baldwin. This is the furnace we're gonna replace. You'll see there's another furnace. This is the second floor furnace that we're replacing. Um, let's look at the ductwork first. The first thing is this return drop is too small and we're gonna go with a five inch filter. So I put the dimensions on the proposal of the drop that we need um, uh, to make and have here. Um, the, um, he's going with the whole system. So he's get, getting a furnace with a, uh, it's an 80% furnace with a high efficiency coil um, and a high efficiency motor. The One of the issues that he's having, 75% of the duct goes this way, um, which is what, west, is that right? Yeah, yes, it goes west. west. So we need to cut this corner up here on the supply plenum to try and get more air to go that way. So if you guys can make something to uh, to get that cut going that way. Uh, the floor drain is back here, right behind, so the condensate will be fairly easy on this furnace. He gets a humidifier and he gets a UV light on there. Uh, the Freon lines go up here, over, and outside, and there's, if you notice, there's brackets on the wall, so there's brackets outside. So we're gonna cut the brackets off, put the unit on the ground. The ground is slightly sloped, so you will need some blocks to get that up. You know, replace the disconnect also um, out there, and then maybe in a year or two, they may do the other the other system, so just leave room accordingly. Um, let's see, the flue pipe, if you notice this flue pipe on the water heater, right at this point kind of goes downhill so if you guys could fix this for him kind of actually i would just replace the whole flue pipe so we need to bring one two three elbows and maybe four feet of four inch flue pipe for his water heater because that's all aluminum and we need to replace that with uh, um uh, with galvanized steel let's see he is also way short of return so we need to add a return down here in the basement. And uh, I am looking for exactly how we're gonna do that. Um, actually, he does have one. Oh, so we probably don't need to do anything. Actually, the, the only problem is, is this is a little bit too small right here, this piece of duct, because that piece of duct is only 120, you know, on there. Um, we need to do probably another one next to it. Um, that joy space is plenty big enough. I'm trying to think if we get another six inch next to it, get a six inch right here, and then come down into here, um, we would get it. So uh, um, let's look on the other side of this wall and see what's over here. Yeah, they just got one return down here on the bottom. So you guys, let's add another return up here. We'll duck the other one down to the floor and add one here. So let's see, is there anything else just to give you guys kind of a view? So this is the system we're gonna be replacing. There's the floor drain on there. This is the first floor system we're not gonna be doing. And I think that's it. Thanks guys.